The Florida Keys are teeming with activities and things to do for visitors of all ages and interests. Your time in the Keys can be as action-packed and thrilling or relaxed and low-key as you desire. You control the pace of your vacation. Adventure seekers can test the water and their skills on a fishing charter for prized game fish. Get up close and personal with tropical fish on a snorkel trip or dive to explore a shipwreck on the ocean floor. Visit local art galleries and museums and shop for unique gifts. Feast on fresh seafood at fine restaurants and hang with the locals. Or just hang on a hammock suspended between two palms. Simply unwind and let go with the outgoing tide. You will be, after all, on island time. Throughout this video, we will be discussing the top 10 things to do during your trip to the Florida Keys in 2023. If you are a traveler like us, please drop a like on this video hit that notification bell, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to provide you with quality travel content moving forward. Okay, let's get traveling. Dry Tortugas National Park. Almost 70 miles, 113 kilometers, west of Key West lies the remote Dry Tortugas National Park. This 100 square mile park is mostly open water with seven small islands. Accessible only by boat or seaplane, the park is known the world over as the home of magnificent Fort Jefferson, picturesque blue waters, superlative coral reefs and marine life, and the vast assortment of bird life that frequents the area. The Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum Ernest Hemingway lived and wrote in this home for 10 years. During that time, he wrote 70% of his lifetime works. Today, it operates as a museum, providing guided tours every 15 minutes from 9 to 5. The museum is available for weddings and corporate events. Visit this National Historic Landmark, which is recognized by the Library of Congress for its importance in U.S. history. Grand architecture, lush gardens, educational tours, a bookstore and gift shop, and the world-famous polydactyl. That's six-toed cats. John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park Established in 1963, John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park was the first undersea park in the United States. John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park and the adjacent Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary cover approximately 178 nautical square miles of coral reefs, seagrass beds, and mangrove swamps. The park extends three miles into the Atlantic Ocean and is approximately 25 miles in length. These areas were established to protect and preserve a portion of the only living coral reef in the continental United States. The park was added to the National Register of Historic Places on April 14, 1972. The park is named for the late John D. Pennekamp, a Miami newspaper editor, whose efforts contributed to the establishment of Everglades National Park and the preservation of what would become John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park. The park contains a wide variety of tropical vegetation, shorebirds, and marine life, while the mangrove swamps and tropical hammocks offer visitors a unique and interesting experience. It is the coral reef formations and associated marine life that most park visitors come to enjoy. The coral reef at John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park are among the most beautiful and diverse of all living communities. The Turtle Hospital the Turtle Hospital opened its doors in 1986 with four main goals. First, rehab of injured sea turtles and their release back to their natural habitat. Second, to educate the public by visiting local schools and attending outreach programs. Third, was conducting and assisting research aiding sea turtles in collaboration with state universities. And fourth, working toward environmental legislation, making the beaches and water safe for sea turtles. The Turtle Hospital is a 501c3 charitable corporation and offers guided educational programs to the public seven days a week. Louis Key, Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. Louis Key Reef has been federally protected since 1981, first as a national marine sanctuary and now as an existing management area within the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. This area includes a Sanctuary Preservation Area, or SPA, that is a popular snorkeling and dive destination for new and experienced divers alike. A diversity of fish congregate here, parrots and surgeon fish on the north side, barracudas and jacks on top of the reef, as well as grunts, butterfly fish, and angelfish on the reef crest. It is located approximately 5.5 nautical miles south of Ramrod Key and about 8 nautical miles southwest of Baha'i Honda State Park. 
Theater of the Sea. Theater of the Sea's mission is to provide a wonderful home for animals while sharing them with visitors in ways that inspire awareness and sensitivity towards animals, the environment, and conservation issues. At Theater of the Sea, watch up close and personal dolphin shows, sea lion shows, parrot shows, and much more. A pioneer in animal interactive programs, at Theater of the Sea, you can swim with a dolphin, swim with a sea lion, meet and paint with a dolphin, and meet and paint with a sea lion, swim with the rays, swim with the sharks, and meet the sea turtles. These 30-minute dolphin swims include both trained behaviors like dorsal toes, kisses, and hugs, as well as swimming and snorkeling with dolphins. They also offer a variety of animal interaction programs for various ages and prices. Programs are available daily and include admission to dolphin, sea lion and parrot shows, guided marine life tours, lagoon side beach, and bottomless boat rides. Theater of the Sea is family owned and has been operated since 1946 and is one of the oldest marine mammal facilities in the world. The lagoons and lush tropical gardens are home to Atlantic bottlenose dolphins, California sea lions, sea turtles, tropical and game fish, sharks, stingrays, alligators, marine invertebrates, and birds. Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory Take a walk among hundreds of free-flying butterflies, exotic birds, and two glorious flamingos inside the soaring glass-domed tropical butterfly habitat. Walk among hundreds of living butterflies and colorful birds. Take a stroll through a tropical paradise. Walk through an exotic and inviting environment filled with hundreds of the most beautiful winged creatures in nature, butterflies. During your breathtaking journey, you will experience an impressive collection of flowering plants, cascading waterfalls, and trees that set the stage for the flowers of the sky. Witness some 50 to 60 different species from around the world, as well as varieties of colorful birds, all under a climate-controlled, glass-enclosed habitat. The Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory was chosen best place to take the kids and best attraction in Key West. The African Queen Canal Cruise In 2012, the iconic boat The African Queen was restored for her 100-year centennial celebration. In May 2012, she once again began plying the waters of Key Largo and currently offers canal and dinner cruises. The cruise departs daily at 10 a.m., 12 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. On Fridays and Saturdays at 6 p.m., it offers a dinner cruise to the Pilot House Marina, where passengers disembark and enjoy dinner in the restaurant before boarding the vessel once again to return to the Marina Del Mar. Dinner and lunch cruises are also available on request for groups of at least four people. Or how about Mallory Square? At Mallory Square, the fun starts and the sun sets. Everything Key West is famous for comes together in this one special place. Set on the historic waterfront, Mallory Square is home to shops, restaurants, and many of the island's most popular attractions. Come for the day and stay into the night. There's always something happening in Mallory Square. And finally, be sure to check out Duval Street. Perhaps one of the most popular destinations on the island of Key West, Duval Street is the main drag of downtown, running north to south from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic Ocean. Although it is not much more than a mile in length, this is where the heartbeat of the city comes to life, with a diverse array of restaurants, shops, world-famous pubs, and attractions. You could spend an entire afternoon or evening wandering up and down this well-known stretch, and you'll quickly discover why so many people flock here. The character and personality of Key West comes to life in a variety of celebrated restaurants, bars, art galleries, locally owned shops, and much more. Be on the lookout for our next video, as we'll show you the top 10 attractions for your next trip to Istanbul, Turkey. Until next time.